So we're here with the Dell Latitude XT, which isn't only Dell's first tablet, but it is one of the first tablets to include capacitive touch in its screen technology. Um, but we do really like the laptop. Um, it has a really nice form and nice feel to it. But we do want to focus on the capacitive touch in the, in the screen because that's what really sets it apart from other laptops. So we're going to compare some of the capacitive screen technology to a resistive screen technology in this Toshiba Protege. Um, and one of the first things that we've noticed is that using your finger for swiping in pictures is very easy um, on this capacitive touch screen. Whereas on the resistive touch screen, you have to give it a little bit more give, um, but it does work fairly well. Um, it's actually working very well right now on the Toshiba. Um, but we've noticed it um, to work in, in a few different areas on um, the capacitive touch. Something else we really like about the capacitive touch is the ability to maneuver through windows with your finger on the bottom. Um, I have barely been reaching for my mouse or the keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcuts to flip through windows. Uh, I can simply just use my, the palm of my fingertip here, if that's the word for that. Um, whereas on the resistive touch screen, I really have to give it with my, my nail and my palm isn't going to, the palm of my finger is not going to work, the tip isn't going to work. Um, so that, that's really cool and can save a lot of time when you're flipped into the tablet mode and your, your keyboard is covered. Something else we also really like is the ability to scroll in web pages with your finger um, and you simply, you don't even have to put pressure on it, it's just a small flick, uh, which, which Vista calls Vista Flicks, um, whereas here you have to give it a little more give. Uh, see, simply just doing this with my finger isn't going to work, but if I give it a little give with it, it's going to work eventually. Um, and we have we've had good success with this, and especially just you know doing with your fingernail on on here works well, but this works a lot better. Um, and you can simply just kind of tap where you want it to end. Um, and we like on YouTube too. You can simply just hit the hit the play button and kind of look at the comments when when the video is playing, uh, which is not something that's very easy to do on the resistive touch screen. Um, and then kind of lastly. Uh, there's some really good functionality built in capacitive touch um, and in Vista's tablet uh, mode and, and we really like the ability to just kind of flick through windows here by just slim, simply, that was my finger mess up, but simply just you know stroking along the top of the screen and being able to maneuver to your windows whereas in the resistive touch it's not as easy, it's not easy to get to those little things either, uh, much easier with the stylus that comes along with it. Uh, but, uh, here that's just not possible and here it's a lot easier to do. Uh, especially just getting to things with your fingers as you can see is a lot easier to do um, as is flicking things. So. Um, yeah, we, we really like the capacitive screen technology in this. Uh, there are obviously a few places where we're, we're still reaching for the stylus, which is included in this machine. Um, but overall, there's a lot more functionality with your fingers built into the screen. Uh, and overall, it's, uh, we're coming a long way with uh, touch technology and uh, tablets.